you're actually testing this on humans right now. That's correct. Right? And any issues so far? There are no issues. And the, the recruitment, there are two dose groups in this study, a one milligram and two milligram. And the one milligram is being recruited now. And then when that one's done, we'll go to the two milligram. Interesting. So how far are we realistically from a vaccine? We're hearing early next year. Is that the soonest? I think uh, that question is when we'll get to a licensed uh, vaccine that will be delivered for everyone. I think that what you're going to see after the phase ones is groups move into the phase two part and move towards efficacy trials. And I believe you're going to see that data sooner, of course, than you'll get to a licensed vaccine. But if we use an advantage, uh, 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 if we use an example of another vaccine that was developed during an outbreak, the Ebola vaccine that was developed in West Africa, once that got through its small efficacy trial and showed it had some ability, um, efficacy against infection, it was then deployed rapidly as part of its development towards licensure in important and at-risk populations. And, and we kind of had an idea then it was somewhat effective and we now were actually using it as a tool while it was moving towards that licensure. So I think that that's really the situation you're going to see here. I mean, there are other situations people are saying like emergency use, well, those are important as well, but I think you will see at least the one I just said. So realistically, what's the soonest in the most optimistic scenario? Give me a time frame that we could see a, a licensed vaccine. So I think you're going to see a licensed vaccine still, like everyone says, in about a year or so, but I think you're going to see these products come along and start to give us um, indications of their efficacy um, significantly before that. And those will then be tools that we can use to start um, protecting our healthcare workers, frontline responders, um, people that work in uh, environments that make it, them at higher risk as we develop them. So I think there's an important stage there of how we roll them out towards licensure. That how much sooner is that? Well, that could be um, towards the end of this year. 